Motherwell make just one change from the side which lost 2-0 to Hibs at Easter Road last Saturday with Stephen McMillan in and Ian Ross dropping to the bench. Celtic are without skipper Alan Stubbs who has flew and Malky Mackay deputises. Pierre van Hooydonk is unavailable and Paolo de Canio is suspended. Tommy Coyne faces his old club this afternoon. His comeback from injury saw him score a recent hat-trick at Kilmarnock. Motherwell's first hat-trick for four years. Tom Boyd is also facing his former club. He was skipper here at Fir Park when Motherwell lifted the Scottish Cup in 1991. He's Celtic's only ever present player this season. The referee is Mike McCurry from Glasgow. Tommy Coyne and Eddie May start the match in front of a noisy crowd here at Fir Park. But certainly it's a fixture which has produced goals over the years. Just uh, three goalless games between these sides and 34 meetings over the 21 years since the Premier League began. So, Malky Mackay coming in this afternoon. And, uh, another chance for him to establish himself in the Celtic defence. Right away is involved in the action with uh, Tommy Coyne. That's a good pass by Coyne, bringing Sean McSkimming into the game. Good awareness by Coyne. Here's an early chance. And Eddie May so close to giving Motherwell the lead. But it all started with brilliant play by Tommy Coyne, switching the play. But uh, May's first touch uh, let him down. And there's uh, Bicos trying to clear. The ball spun safely into the hands of Stuart Kerr. So an early warning for Celtic. Tom Boy. It's Donnelly stabbing it through to Andreas Tommy lays it off nicely, looking for a kneel. This is a determined start by the home side, but uh, Tommy Coyne's unhappy there. The way the ball was played forward. It's certainly like a cliche. He has his men well wound up for this one. It's an important game for Motherwell. And they're just uh, three points ahead of uh, the relegation pack at the moment. And Celtic, of course, uh, dropping to five points behind Rangers last weekend. So it's also hugely important for them. Here's Tosh McKinley. Looking for Gad Cadet. Controls it nicely. This is O'Neill. Donnelly. It leads it off to Andreas Tom. He's going to try one here. It's a good effort. And well pushed away by Scott Howey. Well, Andreas Tom. Just see him winding up for this one. It was laid off nicely by Cadet. He just stepped to the side of uh, Martin and uh, let fly. It's Jimmy Dolan as a uh, horrible breakout. Scoring players forward here. And there's the use of an arm there. Free kick to Motherwell. And the referee is calling over Tosh McKinley. And he's going to book him. Well, using his arm as he went into the challenge. Well, Tosh McKinley picks up just his second yellow card of the season. He's already had two red cards. So he must tread carefully now for a long part of this game. And here's a real chance on now. By Martin. What an opportunity. Billy Davis sent the ball through. Tom Boyd. Made the error. Martin had the opportunity. Didn't take it. This is Andreas Tom. Donnelly. Tom again. Good play by him. Good cross. It was just beyond Cadet. It was Chris McCart who got it away. Boyd. And 
McNamara was breaking on the far side and he was very much onside, but uh, through ball, there's nowhere near him. Meanwhile, it's Tommy Coyne trying to get forward. Oh, there's a mistake. And another opportunity for Motherwell. This time, Tommy Coyne was there. Ryan Martin also had an opportunity. A slack header by Tosh McKinley. That's uh, two defensive errors that uh, could well have been punished. One by Tom Boyd, one by Tosh McKinley. Good ball there from uh, Jimmy Dolan. Philibin, quick play closed down by O'Neill. Same towards Coin gets the touch on it. Big skimming comes in. Another opportunity goes a begging for Mullerwell. They might live to regret this. That's at least three opportunities of her. Tommy Coin did well there, holding off Tom White. Nice little touch there from Andy Roddy. And the effort from McSkimming. Way through the first half here at Car Park. Slight ball there by Peter Grant gives Motherwell the chance to counter attack. So the covers there from Tom Lloyd and Jackie McNamara. Good play by Motherwell. Here's Tommy Coyne. Down he goes. No penalty. Referee is not interested. Coyne is furious as he ran between the defenders. He toppled to the ground. In fact, uh, Jackie McNamara had got a touch on the ball. And, uh, the referee called it absolutely correct. There no bookings, but here's a chance there for Celtic. And right across the face of goal from Malky Mackay. George Cadet was in there as well. Loaded in by Tosh McKinley. Real opportunity there for Celtic. George Cadet trying to find a way through. He's given away to Vikhorst. This is Tom. Back to Vikhorst. He steps it forward. That's behind for the goal kick. George Cadet was on the end of that one. Vikhorst did ever so well here. There's a ball was snapped through to him. And ahead of there from George Cadet flipping the bar. By uh, Dolan, now it's Davis. Through by Roddy. Kinley's there, though, for Celtic. Dolan. Sullivan. Looking for Tommy Coyne. It's a good ball. There's a real chance on here! And Motherwell take the lead! 39 minutes gone, Billy Davis for Motherwell! Well, the Celtic defence posted missing here. It been a great ball. Played out to the left-hand side, Roddy then. Send it in after the knockdown from Tommy Coyne. A slip there by Tosh McKinley. And Billy Davis picked his spot. For the former Rangers player, good Celtic to the shot. Picked his spot well. There's Josh McKinley, there's more urgency about Celtic now. The goalkeeper commits himself for that one. And uh, Scott Howie takes it well. Well, his kicking has let him down at times this afternoon, but uh, his handling there was impeccable. That's the goal scorer, Davis. And again, Celtic all over the place. There's a chance here. And a good save. Eddie May. What an opportunity. And denied by Stuart Carr. But again, look at 
the Celtic defence was absolutely square. And Eddie May running through. And Stuart Kerr kept Celtic in the match. There's Andreas Tom. Town Oriel Park. No direction in that one. But, uh, nonetheless, an opportunity. So the half time whistle sounds. And Motherwell, through the determination, deserved the lead. It was Billy Davis, after 39 minutes, who struck. Long ball played forward. Well knocked down by Tommy Coyne. Roddy provided the cross, and that was Billy Davis after a slip by Tosh McKinley to pick his spot in the net. At Fir Park, it's Motherwell 1, Celtic 0. Billy Davis, the goal scorer who took an option before half-time. And Chris Hay has come on for Morton Bicost. Well, Celtic have won just one of the last seven league games here. In fact, only three in the last 15. And they have the proverbial mountain to climb in the second half. It's away by McNamara. And there's Brandt under challenge from Dolan. And steps Andreas Tom. Good touch by him. Through there looking for Simon Donnelly. And it's Sean McSkimming who gets it away. Certainly Andreas Tom was a Celtic's best player in the first half and uh, they got that through to Donnelly but McSkimming was there to rescue Bonneville Again, Cassie is forced to push the ball back Picture by Peter Grant Touch from Simon Donnelly He's running by McNamara Celtic fans are looking for the free kick and uh, justifiably Donnelly sends it to the far side it's a real chance there for Andreas Tom just failed to make proper contact Donnelly it was who floated the ball in Andreas Tom was there the opportunity lost The cadet, Simon Donnelly's there, and it's Martin who manages the clear. It's a harder kick for Celtic. It's starting to turn the screw a bit now. Again, good defending by Martin. But just enough here to set the to do the use of a hand. to the far side here's Donnelly well, a cross in from him here's McNamara took a good touch on it but uh, underneath that one Tom, and the matter again. Andreas Tom battles hard, but uh, maybe too hard. There's a deflection. Corner kick. Well, Cadet coming so close, but uh, meanwhile, it's a little player on the ground. He was caught by the elbow of uh, Andreas Tom. Cadet was there. It's a touch from O'Neill now, it's Grant. Honorable. Plenty of players behind the ball. In 
by Boyd, a touch on by here. Here's a chance for Andreas Tom. Well, the cover came from Stephen McMillan. He did just enough. Tom Boyd it was who played the ball through. There was a touch on from here. Got ahead of the cart. Uh, Stephen McMillan did just enough here. Allow his goalkeeper to take possession. Well, in fact, uh, Scott Howitt has taken a lot. Well, Tom Boyd it was who sent in the ball. Touch from here. Come off the head of McCart. Certainly Andreas Tom favourite to score, but uh, Stephen McMillan was there. And well, well the keeper didn't break it. Well, so many managers take the chance now of going without a goalkeeper. This could be very costly. Or a model. So the Celtic Club uh, doctor goes on and also the model doctor. Or a model played so well and so bravely. And this could turn the whole game around. Seem to be great difficulty here. Side, cadets through the middle. Well, take a great shot. Is blocked. This is Andreas Tom. Tosh McKinley starts a run. Here's McKinley. Disappointing cross from him though. And cleared by John Philbin. Andreas Tom. Oh, good save by Jimmy Dolan. There's certainly plenty of power in that shot. As he latched on to the corner kick. Again, Celtic have the corner. There's no doubt the standing goalkeeper did ever so well there. There was plenty of power in that shot from Andreas Tom. Now it's Tom to take the corner kick. The poor one up. Well, Celtic put up field here, they're scrambling now to get players back. It's a real chance maybe to tie it up. And again, Stuart Kerr, who made an important save in the first half, it's a save again, but in fact, the offside flag. Had gone up on the far side, but again, the young goalkeeper stood his ground well. Again, it's Andreas Tom trying to get set the point. Tom Boyd has pushed well forward. This is Jackie McNamara. Again, one of the show defiance. Certainly, Celtic. 
keeping the pace of the game, trying to put pressure on the standing goalkeeper. Again, Malkin Akai pushes forward. Donnelly delivers the cross. And the header there from Cadet. And the ball cleared off the line. Oh, the defender didn't know too much about it. There's another opportunity. Simon Donnelly swung it in. A header from Cadet. Then Malky Mackay, who was well forward. Had a chance again. Simon Donnelly swung the ball in. And the header. Well, well, drops him back to defence, here's a chance for Cadet. That's Andreas Tom. Challenge is made there by Martin. Corner kick is awarded. He's not happy. But uh, what a chance there for Cadet. High ball dropped in behind the defence. Kamara swings it in, the goalkeeper's under pressure here! And again, what a ball, get it away! It certainly is exciting stuff. This is Tommy Coyne. He holds the ball up intelligently. Great pass, but it will get close forward here. chance to do something well an orthodox goalkeeping but uh, effective it might well have bounced up his chest into the back of the net but again Jamie Dolan does his job but intelligent play there just a few moments ago by Tommy Coyne who held the ball up well released the perfect pass there's a cross come in but he certainly seemed to be impeded but the referee was not placed been well at the other end this must be it now! Chris Hay for Celtic! 82 minutes gone here at Fur Park and at last Celtic's pressure pays off. Fine finish by Chris Hay. Well, at the other end, Mullerwood denied a penalty at this end. McMillan, who's played well, was caught there. He attempted the pass back, Andreas Tom and flying in, the ball broke away out towards Chris Haig and a fine finish by the young Celtic striker and here he is again I'm sure now that Mullable will be quite happy to hold on to a point Well it would be cruel on Mullable if we were to lose this now with just uh, minutes to go the goalkeeper. This is Tommy Coyne pushing forward. Again, he holds the ball up well, intelligently.
played four minutes of stoppage time. Again, Brian Martin gets a vital touch. And again, horrible. All away from the danger area. The referee has checked his watch. A tremendous result for Motherwell. There's the man who got the winning goal, Ian Ross. A big result for Alec McLeish. Takes a lot of pressure off him and his club. The supporters are delighted. <laughs>